We're told use the interactive graph below to sketch a graph of y is equal to negative 2 times 3 to the x plus 5. And so this is clearly an exponential function right over here. Let's think about the behavior as x is, when x is very negative or when x is very positive. When x is very negative, 3 to a very negative number, like you said, let's say you had 3 to the negative third power, that would be 127th, or 3 to the negative fourth power, that'd be 181st. So this is going to get smaller and smaller and smaller. It's going to approach 0 as x becomes more negative. And since this is approaching 0, this whole thing right over here is going to approach 0. And so this whole expression is, if this first part's approaching 0, then this whole expression is going to approach 5. So we're going to have a horizontal asymptote that we're going to approach as we go to the left. As, we go to, as, we, as x gets more and more negative, we're going to approach positive 5. And then as x gets larger and larger and larger, 3 to the x is growing exponentially. But then we're multiplying it times negative 2, so it's going to become more and more and more negative, and then we add a 5. And so what we have here, well this, doesn't, this looks like a line. We want to graph an exponential. So let's go pick the exponential in terms of x. There you have it. And so we can move three things. We can move this point. It doesn't even just have to be the y-intercept, although that's a convenient thing to figure out. We can move this point here, and we can move the asymptote. And maybe the asymptote's the first interesting thing. We said as x becomes more and more and more and more negative, y is going to approach 5. So let me put this up here. So that's our asymptote. It doesn't look like it quite yet, but when we, when we try out some values for x and the corresponding y's and we move these points accordingly, hopefully our exponential is going to look right. So let's think about, let's pick some convenient x's. So let's think about when x is equal to 0. If x is equal to 0, 3 to the 0th power is 1. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2, plus 3 is 3. So when x is equal to 0, y is 3. And let's think about when x is equal to 1, what, and I'm just picking that because it's easy to compute. 3 to the first power is 3, times negative 2 is negative 6, plus 5 is negative 1. So when x is 1, y is negative 1. And so let's see, does this, is this consistent with what we just described? When x is very negative, we should be approaching, we should be approaching positive 5. And that looks like the case. As we move to the left, we're getting closer and closer and closer to 5. In fact, it looks like they overlap, but it's really we're just getting closer and closer and closer because this term, this term right over here is getting smaller and smaller and smaller as x becomes more and more and more negative. But then as x becomes more and more positive, this term becomes really negative because we're multiplying it times a negative 2. And we see that it becomes really negative. So I feel pretty good about what we've just graphed. We've graphed the horizontal asymptote, makes sense. And we've picked two points that sit on, this, on the graph of this exponential. So I can check my answer, and we got it right.